Hello everybody. Welcome back to Willie's American Guitars. I have kind of a cool guitar here to show you that we just got in. And uh, first let me switch. This is a Car Sportsman. And um, the Sportsman is really a copy of a Blackface Fender. And this is one of the cheapest amplifiers Car makes. We've said this before, but any high quality point to point wired combo amplifier, especially with reverb, is going to run about $2,000, no matter what. If Fender makes it, if Car makes it, if anybody makes it, if it's American made, high quality, point to point, that's about the going rate for an amplifier that you can really be proud of and uh, you get bulletproof construction out of that. So I'm going to take this off standby, take off the reverb, I'm not a reverb guy. Here is a 1968 Gibson Firebird. And you guys are all probably familiar with the Firebird, but uh, from 63 to 65, they had a reverse body. Now they had the Firebird here in this, um, to not get sued by Fender, uh, they modified the, the shape here uh, in a non reverse body. And sorry about that, Jack. We just got this in, we'll clean all this up. But the Firebird 7 is a really rare guitar. Um, I have some numbers here. In 1966, they made 46 Gibson Firebird 7s. 46, that's all. They made 350 of the two pickup models. And then um, in 67, they made nine of these. And then in 68, they made 19 of these guitars. They're very rare. Gibson's factory was pretty small then, but um, they always had the highest quality woods. They never dipped the guitars like they do today in this plastic covering first uh, before they sprayed on the lacquer. This is all lacquer on body and they took the time to finish the wood and detail the wood um, before they sprayed on the lacquer finish. This has gold hardware, these gold Cluson tuners. It has a Brazilian rosewood fingerboard, three pickups. And like the fender switch, this is a selector switch that's selected between the three individual pickups. Um, here towards the bridge pickup, you can see the bridge pickup is on in the middle, only the middle pickup is on, uh, and then of course the neck pickup. A really warm, rich sound out of these mini humbuckers. And they always came with the tremolo. Tremolo, non-tremolo was not an option. delightful a very rare guitar in this day and age of rising vintage guitar prices especially with solid body guitars this is a really really cool guitar to have because there's so few of them made I think that total on their shipping is about a hundred of these were made in the golden era of Gibson and um, this with its gold hardware is rather regal too and then the variety of pickups is fantastic. These are crisp mini humbuckers. They'll cancel out the hum, buck the hum, and yet they have that distinctive sharp fender type tone. So there you go. Uh, I'll bring it up to the camera a little closer. You can see all the details on it. It is crack free. It is a gorgeous guitar. And um, I've got to go right now and uh, clean this jack. We just got this in moments ago and I'm 
looking forward to showing it to you. Uh, by the way, we do repairs. Come on down, call us please, make an appointment, we'll put you in the corner and you can sit and just sit with a guitar like this and do this stuff for a while. Uh -huh.